Okay, because my one video's audio was screwed up, I guess I'm going to kind of go over the same things that I did in my first engine video. It's basically just going to be one with better audio. I'm going to go over a few more things, too. Just in case you already watched that one, I don't want to make it boring for anybody. Um, my image manager, I just kind of like my little idea here. I have a map, and I basically map a string to an image. So that allows you to... Uh, represent the image with a string which is easier I guess and I'll show you how I actually do that I have it right here it's a singleton class you can either get a pointer to it or just the reference of it and then nothing in the constructors this I should probably make this private because you don't ever call this but it adds an image and basically it creates a temporary image loads it creates the masked color and inserts it into the thing it creates the string which is the file name and it creates the image which is the image and then here one sec I'll move it out because I don't think you can see the whole thing can you uh, I, okay sorry okay so now then is what I do is I have uh, your get image and is what basically that does is it makes an iterator, iterator, which I probably should just make in my class, make it just a variable, but I guess I just did it this way. It tries to find the file name that you give it, it tries to find the string of the file name, and if it finds it, it returns it, the image of it, which is the second thing in the map, and then if it doesn't, it adds it, and then finds it, and returns it. Pretty easy, same exact thing for my sound manager. Um, the entity manager just updates. I already talked about that in my better audio thing. Now, what was I going to talk about again? Uh, um, bum, bum, bum. Uh, I don't know if I talked about my state class at all. Basically, I have a base abstract state class that uh, it'll handle events, render, update, do all the stuff, a regular thing. You can pop and push states. And it renders to a game engine. And I have my managers here and I do get reference because pointers I used to get them by pointer and that's probably better but like I got some crazy runtime errors once and so uh, and references fixed it. it took me forever to figure out what it was I don't know what it was but um yeah sorry okay <laughs> uh, then is what I did is I, I just created some test stuff to make sure my stuff would actually work and here's my test state and basically I override all this all those virtual uh, abstract methods and then I uh, basically just do whatever you would do you know I load the level in the init and then I in the handle events I get the event if the event type equals close is all I do right now and then I render the level to the window and the render function and the update I just update it and say every second I say yay this function is updating or the state is updating and I clean up I call clean up push state pop state blah 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 and um, I'll show you how my game engine handles those because I think, I don't know what I talked about. This is kind of a redo video, so everything's going to get kind of redone and better. So basically, my game engine will have a window. I guess I can show you the .h file. Hey, I'm pretty sure you've seen this, but uh, you can get the clock and event and window, and then you have your states, a vector of states here. And is what happens is in the destructor, it clears it, obviously, just because it's good. To. And then in the cleanup, I clean up all the states and clear it. And although I'm clearing it twice, that is 100% awesome. In the init, I do nothing. I used to init all the things, but they call their own init function in their constructor, which I think is more convenient. Um, uh, the handle events is what it does is it takes the last state, like the, st the state back in the list. For you guys who don't like no vectors, it's just the, the top one the top one and it handles the events of this game engine and it does the same thing for render and it clears the window renders the state and displays the window and then it updates the window and then it does its run where it calls the init and then while the window's open it does all that stuff and then it cleans up at the end and here's my change state i clean up the last state and pop it and i push it and then call init on it um, and then my pop state, I click, and this basically, this is just a combination of these two. Okay.
what else to talk? My tile class got a lot more complex than I wanted it to be. <laughs> um, so my tile class, basically you can set, you can render it, you can set the clip, you can set the image, you can get the sprite, you can set position, set size. I'm pretty sure I have some more stuff because I do some inline functions when I get lazy. Nope, I didn't do any on this one. Um, well, it's uh, usually my tile class is about nothing. And I don't know if I showed you my level class, but basically, here's how I do my level class. Uh, it's pretty simple. I have my allocate tiles, and then I have a pointer to a pointer to a pointer here, or how, whatever you'd say that. Uh, however you'd say that. And I have my variables to store stuff in my image manager, and my that's my file name for my uh, tile sheet. And then I'll go to my level.cpp, and I've... Basically, to allocate tiles, I set my variables to that, and then I just allocate the tiles through four loops. Um, then, to do this, while well, not end of header, I load all the stuff in, like the tile sheet name, width, height, layers. And then, uh, this gets all the things. I use the tile line format, as you heard in the last video, if you heard it, because the audio sucked. But, uh, basically, then I set everything. After it hits end, I set everything. And then... Yay, end of reading. And then I render, and I told you I was going to optimize that, and that's yet to come. And let me think, do I have anything else to show you? Well, I have a Lua manager that I'm not that proud of because it doesn't do much. It's just a singleton class with a Lua state in it. And basically, you can get the Lua state. And I made, oh, that was in my old thing. And so basically, that's all that. I'll show you the Lua.cp in case you guys really wonder. Well, Lua, if you use Lua bind, it's about the easiest thing you could ever do. Basically, you open your Lua, you open your Lua bind, and you open your Lua libs, and then you export a class. It's pretty easy to find tutorials on, and but it's kind of slow to compile. Let's hope I didn't change anything so it'll run for you guys, because otherwise it's going to take like a year to compile, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry. Okay, good. I'm not going to worry about it, but I am, it's now here, so... Let's take this up here. As you see, my level is loaded. And you probably have saw the same level before, yes. And you see it is updating, but it's going insanely slow because of my screen recorder. It doesn't matter. It's all good. I do like the white with the black writing, if you didn't know. All right, this is the end of the video. If I, Oh, my God. All right.